Hello everyone, today we are going to look at how to make a chair like this and look at the chamfer tool to create softer edges around the chair. All right, so I found this chair online. And this is the image for the chair okay search for modern chair I think it was here somewhere so let us get started let us create a plane assign a material drag bitmap Bring the chair image, assign the material to selection, show shaded material in the viewport. Place the chair in the center of the scene. This plane is way too big. So if you go to customize, unit setup, it is centimeters system setup is in meters so we'll make it centimeters as well and now it became 114 so i'll make this 100 and let us look at the proportions maybe this is 150 all right so that looks good start with a cube box cube create a cube and then I'll start with a 10 by 10 cube with that orange color we don't have an orange color here so I'll make it pink okay so to model that chair so this particular cube says the part of this one so you'll have to extrude it down extrude it that way. Convert it to editable poly. Select the bottom polygon and extrude it. I will. And then you can go to edge faces so you can see those lines. I'll make this 40. Okay. And then to extrude this, we need one more line or an edge. So we'll, oops. I will leave the plus button and make it and then accept it okay so we got this line we will extrude it this way okay again extrude it by 40 plus and make it 10 okay, so accept it then I don't know how much this distance is and we will only model half the chair and then we can mirror it so we will select this part and we will extrude it by 40 then plus sign 10 accepted now we need to go up so select the top part extrude 10 and then we need one more 10 accepted so this 10 this 10 now here this distance is less than this distance so we will extrude it by only 5 
okay extrude it again by 10 10 is the width of our member this one then we need to extrude it down like this extrude it by 4p extrude it again by 10 add select this extrude 30 the time because we don't want to come all the way out plus second is 10 okay now again here extrude it by 5 plus and extrude it by 10 all right and then this extrude it by 40 30 plus and extrude it by 10 then again extrude it by 40 plus extrude it by 10 I will not extrude this part here if you want you can do it but yeah I guess we can do it let us extrude this or not I'll not do it oh well let us do it and see what happens you can or you cannot this is 2.5 because this is half of it okay I'll know later on if that was what I was supposed to do or not and then we need to extrude this here or we can do that later also all right so that's good enough we'll add a symmetry modifier like that and then it has to be touching there I got the chair completed what happened there this looks more Something went wrong with the distance here, so we'll have to move these here and merge these. Weld, then you can see 96 became 92. So some mistake there I don't know what it was then we can bring this close and it merges alright so our chair is complete now next thing we need to do is add a chamfer modifier chamfer okay and then we are going to look at the chamfer modifier here it's hard edge and default doesn't make much change here it can be quad quad makes it flat uniform and triangle so uniform looks better 
H bias. I don't know what that is. Here, if it is crease weight, legacy again makes it flat. So fixed works well. Amount of one is good enough. Segments, we need one more. Okay. And that creates a nice crease. Okay. So if you get rid of edge faces, you get see this is why I wanted to not do it here. Maybe if I bring the chamfer down. tree should come first yeah all right so that solves that problem okay and then the other thing is the color so what we will do is open material editor and add a multi sub object material and then we will drag two standard materials one is white and then we'll make it shiny and the other one will be orange and shiny as well okay This will be assigned to one and this will be assigned to two and we'll assign this material to the chair and we can see the chair looks kind of weird so we'll go to, to add an edit poly modifier again go to polygon the polygons and we'll make this set ID to 2 the rest of the chair has a set ID of 1 as a set ID of 1 as well. Okay. So anything that has a set ID of 1 becomes orange and whatever has a set ID of 2 becomes white. Did not merge this so if you go to polygon oops, not there I'll extrude that and make that three fifty. It's not necessary to do this, but I make it smaller. So we need to change the set ID of these to two. What happened to our chamfer?
and for not working because sub object was selected so that's so segments 2 is the only change we had made we have the symmetry modifier and then edit poly again Do this again For all these have a set ID of two one anything that is black needs to have a set ID of one of edged faces you get the chair now this is not straight so we can simply work on that idea of two and that completes the project of the chair everything looks nice and clean okay so thanks